Kitchen Shed. This is my new video slash podcast that I'm going to do every so often. Uh, just to show people what I'm doing. If people are interested, probably not interested at all. But um, yeah, it's for me as well. So I can see where I've started and where I'm going to end up. Like if I get better or worse. Um, well, hope I don't get worse. It's pretty rubbish if I get worse. But um, yeah, just to keep an archive of my stuff really. Um, I have Ravelry, um, which I can't remember my Ravelry name. So I will put it underneath somewhere down there that everybody does like that <laughs> um, yeah so I've also got Instagram and I uh, don't really use Facebook that much for knitting um, but I'll write it all down below um, so yeah so I'm from Cumbria in the United Kingdom um, it's freezing today absolutely freezing uh, it's probably about not that cold really in the grand scheme of the world but <laughs> it's probably about one degrees it's not even that bad really when I think about it but my feet are freezing so I've got my heater on so if you can hear a buzzing that's just my heater down here it's probably really noisy actually I never really thought about that Um. so yeah so I'm just wanting to show all my finished objects whips stuff like that Um for about 10 minutes. I don't want this podcast to be too long because I know what it's like to people when um, it's quite hard to sit and watch an hour's worth of podcasts sometimes unless you've got a whole day of doing nothing. Um, so yeah, so I want to keep it keep it short. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so I have my own hand dyed yarn business and um, I've just sort of started it um, the past couple of months. Um, it's called Rose's Knitting Shed on Etsy. Um, there's not that much on the shop actually right now, but um, I shall. I've just ordered loads of new stuff, so I it'll hopefully it'll be updated soon. Um, yeah, I really enjoy doing it. It's really fun. It's more for, for my own funness rather than anything else. But I can't just keep dyeing more and more yarn because I can't knit it as quick. So I thought I'd better try and sell some of it. <laughs> Because I think my shed will be covered in wool, like it already is. If I show you, I'll show you now my shed. This is my shed. That's my uh, new scrap, scrappy blanket. All my needles up on there. Some wool in my little boxes. There's quite a lot in there. It's all stuffed in. <laughs> and then I've got. Oh no, I'm gonna unplug it all. So I've got all this full of uh, commercial yarn and uh, odds and ends that I'm going to do something with and some of my own hand dyed yarn at the bottom that I'm trying to sell <laughs> if I don't use that is so yeah so that's my shed with sheddy things and um, I love all my sheddy things I've got my brother's girlfriend's foot here, which I use to knit, knit a socks with so I can measure it. But tiny weeny little narrow feet look, the tiny. Tiny weeny feet. So she's not that bad to knit socks for. Usually I don't knit people anything because I hate knitting people things. It does my head in. Because at the end of it, you've got this lovely little like sock and you're like, well, what's the point? I'm giving it away. So it really annoys me. <laughs> so yeah. So if I go on to finish objects first and stop rambling about rubbish um, so this is my beautiful new shawl which I love it's uh, called Midnight in Paris shawl by Vera Valamaki um, sorry about my accent my accent is horrible I know it ruins every every word in uh, like the world <laughs> but um, yeah just ignore it hopefully People might not watch me because of how horrible my accent is, which is true, it is horrible. <laughs> but um so yeah, so this is my Midnight in Paris shawl. Um I absolutely loved it. Let me just get see if it's the right way around first. I love knitting it, it was really fun to knit. Um it's a fade. It's a fade. If you can see, I'll lean back. 
Yeah, I love it. So, I did it with Lebianami yarns. That are, sorry, my <laughs> staring at me through the window. Um, I've got Lebianami yarns. Um, oh, she's not me right off track now. Staring at me. So, Lebianami yarns um, I got from Edinburgh Yarn Festival last year. And I can't wait to go this year. So excited. Um, so this one is, I've written it down, I've wrote, written it down, wrote, wrote it down. Um, this one is Winter Garden. So it's got lots of speckles in it. It's got pinks. It's got like a gold colour, blues, green. It's got loads of different colours. I love it. It's so squishy. And then I got um, this one, which again, ignore the pronunciation. It's terrible. But it's French and it says Le Le Tir Le Titero Le Le Titero Le Le Titero <laughs> And that is the blue and that has got gold bits in and like brownies and goldies. I love it. And then this one is Yellow Brick Road which I can say <laughs> yeah, I love this one. Um, it was quite easy, really. Easy to do. Uh, if you're good at lace. Well, not actually. I'm rubbish at lace, really. But um, it was quite easy to follow. Easy to follow the pattern repeat and stuff. So, yeah. Show you lace again. I'm not really sure how to wear it. To show the lace off. Because if I wear it like round my back, I feel like I look like an old lady. Sorry for people that wear it like that. But I feel like I just don't suit it. Um so yeah, so I want to try and show the lace off, but it all bunches up. So if anyone's got any ideas, please share. That is if people watch this, probably will watch it. But yeah. So but what happened was so you meant to fade in this part here, in the moss stitch, um, you meant to fade in there at the beginning, which I've done, there, and at the end, but I never did the end bit because I, I would have loads of yarn left over, so what I did was, was I started to fade in the garter stitch, but then I used the whole skein, actually I had a little bit left over really, I used the whole thing, um, but now I should have increased because it's sort of like... It's like a pelican bib for kids. Catches all my food so I can save it and eat it for later. <laughs> um, it's like a pelican bib. But I don't really mind really. It's alright. Um, I've blocked it so it's not as bad as it was before. But I should have increased another one really. But I'm not a pattern designer. So it would probably go all ticked up if I did it. <laughs> so yeah. So I love it. It's so warm and squishy. Um, yeah. So my next thing that I finished is just some socks, which I don't know where I've put them. Wait there. Where have I put them? Oh, they've dropped on the floor. I haven't got them on a sock blocker. I might just grab my sock blocker from behind me, actually. Um. Yeah, I might do. Because I've worn them. They all look a bit smooshed up. Hold on. I'll just get my sock blocker. So yeah, so these are the Austin socks. I'm not sure who they buy actually. Should have checked that, really. First, well, probably a hundredth mis first mistake. Um, these are the Austin socks, very easy peasy. Um, good for beginners if you just want a bit of a jazz in the socks, in like just to jazz up some vanilla socks really. Um, this is my own hand dyed yarn. Uh, it's just um. One of the first ones I did, I did really. I was just looking in my stash for ages, so I thought I'd better knit it up. So yeah, um, it's like a bluey purple. It's blowing out actually on the screen, but it's like a bluey purple, and it's got like orangey, ooh, can't do it, orangey spots here. 
Yeah, I love them. They're squishy. They are 75% merino, 25% nylon. You can see, that's better, isn't it? It's like pur got pur more purple than it as well. And I've just done um, a slip stitch heel. I always I always do heel flop and gussets. I don't know why. I feel like they fit me better. Um, I've done German short robe heels in the past. And I just find they slip down off my feet. But it might be something I'm doing. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I prefer these heels. And I just know what I'm doing as well. It's dead quick. I don't need to look at anything. I just, just do it. So yeah, so they're my Austin socks. I love them. I love them. So, my next finished object is another pair of socks. These are uh, wool from, is it River, River Knits? River Knits. And I got them from Kendall Wool Gathering last year. Uh, it's only a small, like, little festival that, that we have in Kendall in Cumbria. Which I go to every year with my mum. Um, and this is called Starry Night. And I, it's just beautiful. I love it. Excuse me. I love it. Just looks like the sky. And I did. I just made it up. It's not a pattern or anything. It's just garter stitch on the top. So simples. And then on the cuff, I did. Uh, What's it called? The twisted heel thing, twisted heel, twisted uh, cuff, sorry, so you just knit through the back, you knit through the back uh, thingy of the knit stitch, so yeah, so I love them, and I did a garter heel, it's really blowing out, it's got yellow bits by the way if you can't really see, Not they're not just white, it's like stars, so yeah, so I love them. I wear them all the time. I've got that many socks now. It's, it's silly. So what I do is I have them all on rotation. So I have, um, so I wear, what I do is I wear one one day and then they go in the wash or go in the wash basket and then they all move along. So they all get the same amount of love and the same amount of care and the same amount of foot time. We've all got to have foot time. So yeah. So that's one of my favourite socks at the minute that I wear all the time. So yeah, so my next finish object is a hat. Now it was gonna be for my niece, but it fits me. So I'm keeping it. It is quite big actually, I don't think it would stay on my head, to be honest. But this is out of my hand dyed yarn. Um this, it was one of the first ones I dyed as well. I just have them in my, I just have random, random skeins in my um, stash. But this is pinks and oranges and they have little, it has little speckles, tiny weeny speckles of greens in places. But I love how it has like pooled, it's striped up. Now a lot of people don't like pooling, but I actually really like it. It gives it a bit more, um, like interest really. Yeah. I quite like how it pulls. My little bobble, which I love, is folks fur. Is it folks fur? I can't say it. I think it, fake fur. Let's just stick with fake fur. <laughs> um, it's from Ella, Ella Vintage, I think, on Etsy. Um, she does all sorts of different pom poms, and I think she does uh, like recycled ones as well. I think like a real fur. Now I might be wrong there, but I think she does. So if you go and have a look on her Etsy, she uh, might I'll put it down below. Um, yeah. So I've got two of them actually. I've got this one, pom pom, and then this one I got. So I love this one. Well, yeah, it's got like a bubble. So if you have a look, and I've just tied a knot in it. It's like when I need to wash it, I just undo the knot. It's, it's amazing. Such a good way of doing it, so stitching it in and then not being able to wash it because it's, you've got a stitched in bobble that you can't. Or pom pom, should I say? Am I calling it bobble? I think I'm calling them bobbles. It's a pom pom. But yeah, I love it. I'm wearing it to work all the time because it's been snowing. So yeah. 
Really, I love this. Woo! Uh, so, that's all my finished objects done. And now my work's in progress. Da -da -da. So, this one, I'm just, I've, I've got it out now, just working on it now. Is just a yarn that I've got from my local wool shop. And um, it is, hold on, I'll tell you now. I think I've got the tag in here. It's like that fluffy wool. It is. I can't say it. it but it's by Lan Yarns. That one. I love it. And it is. Very. Like, it's not rough, I wouldn't say. But. It's not like. It's not like, say, this one. What it's like. It's normal. I find it quite hard to knit with sometimes because you, you go through the you go through your stitch and it all gets a bit messy. <laughs> but yeah, I had to take it back because when you do this is the problem with heel flap because I, I love them. I'm not gonna just because of the way this knits up. So what I did was I had to take it back. Oh sugar, I've got stitches. Balls. So yeah, I had to take it back because in the pattern of the of the yarn, it, the next bit was pink after this part, but it was such like a harsh, once I'd picked up the stitches around the sides, it was such a harsh like line of red than pink. So I took it back and then I ripped the pink out, took it off my yarn and then put it where it starts to fade into the next green. So it just fades a bit better, but it's got pink, it's got pink heel part. Yeah, you can see there it's got quite harsh. But I'd rather it on the bottom of my foot than right round. It ruined the, it ruined it really. But yeah, so I cast on um, more stitches than usual because the yarn is really thin. So I cast on what was it? 60, 68 stitches because I'm a really tight knitter. I knit really tight. So, um, yeah, and it's really tight gauge, but yeah, I like them, they're really, really warm, why do I keep dropping stitches, Ugh. there, so yeah, that's one thing I'm doing, and my next one is, I, I, I tried to keep my um, works in progress down, because I don't have time to work on if, I never ever finish them if I have like five going, so I usually have a pair of socks or say a jumper or a shawl. I'm getting hot now with my heater on my feet. So yeah, so I try and keep them down. But this one is just like a scrappy jumper um, out of my hand dyed stuff that I was practicing with when I first started ages ago. Um, and I don't know what to do with really. <laughs> so I just thought, just make a scrappy jumper with greens because I've got loads of green. So this is the first sleeve. I love it. it. Smells nice as well. So I am doing the per a pearl Soho pattern, and it is by um, and it is the lightweight raglan pullover, and I love it. So as you can, I'm fading them. So this is all one colour, and then if as you go down. There, that's where I'm going into another greeny. It's got more pinks and blues in it. Yeah. So after that, I've done the sleeves. You then start to knit bottom up. And I love the cuff. I love the cuff. It's a free pattern, I think. Yeah, it's free. So what you do is you pick stitches up. You pick the pearl knob thing <laughs> up, four rows down, and then you knit it together with your stitch that you've got on. Um, probably everyone knows that, but I've never done it before. Um, and it just makes a really nice cuff and it doesn't curl over or anything. Lovely. So yeah, so I'm on to the next sleeve now. And then um, I don't know what other colours, I don't really care really. Even if it looks stupid, I don't mind. Um, I was going to whack this one in. This is one I did ages ago. 
it's blowing it out as well. But it's uh, like browns, greens. Yeah, I love that one. I did it, I made it, um, dyed it up for somebody's present, but I never got round to knitting it for them. <laughs> and I've got light, like this one here. So, I don't want to bin them or anything. Like, I don't really like it, but I don't really like this one, but I don't want to bin it, so I'm just going to make a jumper. Scrappy jumper. Might look silly at the end, but oh well. Um, yeah. So I love it. So I am doing, what size am I doing? I am doing the third size and I am knitting it, because I'm a tight knitter again, on four millimetres. I never do gauge swatches, so I have no idea if it's going to fit me. But if it's too small, I'll give it to my nieces. One day they might fit into it. <laughs> or somebody really skinny might give it away. But yeah, it, it should be alright. Um, don't like gauge swatching. Neat, really should, but I don't. So yeah, so that's that. So I thought because I've gone well over ten minutes. Thought it was gonna be ten minutes, but it's not. Probably explaining next time. I don't need to explain all the other rubbish either, do I? But um, now I just want to run through what I'm wearing quickly. So this is my easy one by Ho He Love Telly. I don't know how I went wrong so many times. Um. I never, go, I never ever hardly take things back. I hate taking things back. I hate it. Um, so if I make a mistake, I will plod on until the end, and then it looks terrible. <laughs> but um, so what I did was is you work from the back up here over the top, and I didn't. I knitted one side longer than the other. You meant to knit the same length, so. I wasn't taking it back. So when I got to the bottom, I put in um I put in a split hem. But when I did the split hem, I miscounted my stitches, so I've got on the front it's smaller than the back. So it's like that at the front and then that at the back. But it doesn't it looks fine when it's on, like you can't see it. But I don't know how I went wrong on such an easy pro like jumper. I just don't get it. So if you have a look, I will stand on my Oh, it's curling up a bit. There we go. But yeah, that's the back. So I did a split hem. It's slightly longer at the back and shorter at the front. Um, yeah, I love it. I wear it all the time. But I actually quite like the split hem. But um, yeah, and I did it in. I got it from a local wool shop. Um, Fiberco Cumbria fingering because we live in Cumbria. So I thought, why not? It might like it goes. And I think the lady actually lives in Cumbria somewhere. Like she's from America, but she lives in Cumbria somewhere, but I don't know where. Well, this is um like a purpley colour. I don't know if you can see. It's like um, a mauve, mauve, mauve colour. And it is Castle Rig, it calls. Yeah, I love it. But it was quite boring to knit because it's all the same colour. But in the end, I actually really like it. It's really nice. Like, just to have one block colour sometimes. And then you can wear a jazzy shawl. So, yeah. Um... Next thing is my socks that I'm wearing. Um, it's got like little, not they're not eyelets, but you knit into the same, you knit into the same stitch three times. So you knit, knit it, and then you knit through the back or something. It's ages since I since I made these, but um, they are West Yorkshire spinners, and again, that's all one block colour. I got it for heels and toes for um the candy cane socks at Christmas once. But yeah, I really like that they're just shorted, so I can wear them with my trainers and stuff when I go to work or whatever. Um, yeah, and that is, the pattern is Head Over Heels Twisted Edge Socks by Stylecraft Yarns. Um, I don't know if you have to pay for it, pay for it. I'm not sure, I can't remember now. But um, it's quite fiddly to do, but I did them when I was quite a new knitter. So I was baffled by it, <laughs> but once I did it, I was so proud of myself. But yeah, I love them. It's got a, it's got really. I'm, I'm gonna, I really need to knit some more actually, because I wear them all the time. And it's got like a twisted bit here. It just looks dead dainty and cute. 
yeah so that's all really that's where i've got up to and um, if you have a look on my etsy shop on um, etsy duh and um, it's got all, some wool on there and some yarn um that i've dyed uh, i feel a bit stupid because i keep looking at myself you must be thinking why is she looking at herself all the time but it's really hard not to when it's on the screen so next time i have to, I have to block myself out so I'm not so I'm just looking at the camera <laughs> oh god i'm doing it again so yeah so thanks for watching if you have watched i bet nobody watches and um we'll see you next time okay then bye